Good afternoon, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, babies, the Lord dropped in my spirit this afternoon about the wilderness. Some of you are having that wilderness and spirits like the children of Israel. And you know, I don't want you to die off like the old generation did. You know, some of the older generation didn't get to go into the promised land. The land flowing with the milk and honey. And why? Because they was disobedient. They murmured. They complained. You know, some of you are murmuring and complaining. You're disobedient. You're not doing what God tell you to do. Babies, you got to trust God. He brought you out of Egypt. He brought you out of Egypt. Now you're stuck in the wilderness. Some of you wishing that you stayed back where you was at. You could have came out of a bad marriage, which was Egypt. You could have came out of a bad city, town, state, which was Egypt. You know, just coming out of your crummy lifestyle or getting saved. That was an Egypt that you came out of. But now you're in the wilderness. You're in the wilderness. And you feel like God may have forsaken you. He's done left you. You know, just like they did when they got in, in, in the wilderness, they was murmuring and complaining. Talking about at least when we was with Pharaoh, we ate leeks and we did this and we did that. Like Egypt was so good. And that's how some of you do when you get saved. Man, I was doing better when I was in the world. Mm, I'm doing bad now that I came over here with the Lord murmuring and complaining. Talk about Egypt was so good. Some people don't even want to leave Egypt, which is the world. Thinking it's so good. Thinking like, oh, if I go over here with God, I'm going to suffer so much. Yes, the enemy wants you to think like that. And yes, you are going to go through trials and tribulations. Because we have an enemy, which is God's enemy. He don't want us to think that God is going to bless us, that he's going to take care of us. He wants you to doubt. He wants you not to trust in the God you say you serve. He wants you to make the think like God ain't real. You don't have dreams, you have visions, you have prophetic uh, words coming to you. God's going to talk to you and told you he's going to do this and do that, just like he told him. I'm going to bring him out. He told our forefathers. They was in bondage for 400 years. God brought them out. They seen the promise. Just think of all the ones that was in there for 400 years that didn't see the promise. All they did was stand fast and hold on to the word of God. But this generation, that generation actually got to see the deliverance. They actually got to see the promise come forth. They was almost there. Almost there. They was almost into the land flow with the milk and the honey. But they murmured and they complained. All the miracles God had performed. They came to the Red Sea. Didn't know where they was going to go. That's where some of you are in your life right now. Everything's all around you. Egypt's coming after you. Everything that was back there in Egypt, which is a representation of Pharaoh and his army, even though they let him go. That's how the devil do. He comes back to get you. What the Pharaoh do? He was coming back to get them. Like, oh my God, I let them go. No, I want my slaves back. That's how the devil feel. He let you go. He let you get away. I want my slave back. And then they still had that slave mentality once they got in the wilderness. Felt like they was doing better over there in captivity. How you doing better in captivity than being in freedom? No, they just ain't got lazy being in captivity because everything was taken care of for them. But you was in captivity, honey. It's not good to be in captivity. Some of you was in captivity in your mind and your spirit. Some of you still are in your captivity in your mind and in your spirit. And that's why in the midst of your wilderness experience, God got to leave you there. He's got to leave you there in that wilderness because you're not obeying him. You're not listening to what he's telling you to do. You're not executing it out. You're murmuring. You're complaining. You're being disobedient. And you wonder why you're steady going around the same thing over and over and over again. God showed them miracles. They seen God's hand. Some of you don't seen God's hand move in other areas. Now in this one particular area, you don't think God's going to move for you. You're fainting. You're fainting. You're murmuring. You're complaining. Babies, you don't want to die in your wilderness. Them older generations, they died in the wilderness. Even Moses didn't even get to go over into the land flowing and milk and honey. He got to see over, but he didn't get to go over. After all that he'd been through with these people, they had frustrated Moses. You know, I can only imagine, because I know what the people I deal with, they, they, they work your nerves, honey. Yes, they do. They work your nerves, honey. 
Yes, they do. You trusted God for yourself. You got to hear from God for yourself. That's what Moses is doing. He had to go up there and hear from God for himself. He couldn't move without God. He couldn't take no steps without God. They fussing at Moses. He got to hear from God himself. Then they down there. Devil talking to the mind. Down here making golden calves and, and being disobedient. Going back to the ways that they had back with the Egyptians. You don't want to do that. You don't want to murmur and complain. You don't want to go back to Egypt. You don't want to do nothing that's familiar with Egypt. You got to break that familiar spirit off of you. Stop crying out for the past. You know, those past relationships. Oh, it was better. I was better when I had somebody. No, you better now. You got peace. You got your peace of mind. You ain't stressed out. You're not being abused and used. Your bills are paid. God is taking care of you. He's taking care of you. No, you may not be living in that mansion you want or riding that fine car you want. But God is taking care of you. He's supplying your needs every day. He took care of them in the wilderness. He took care of them. All they was murmuring and complaining. Then they wanted meat. What did he do? Sit the quail down there. Told them not to save none of it. They going to save it. What did he do? Go rotten. Just, just obey God in all different ways. God got sick of them. He said, you're not even going to go in. He let that old generation die off. All the men that was there that was able to fight the Amorites, the Hittites, and all of them to take to possess the land, he let them die off. Joshua had to raise up a whole nother army out of the new generation. He had to get them circumcised and all that kind of stuff. Because the old generation just wouldn't hearken. They was, what to say, stuck in their ways. Babies don't get stuck in your ways. They get stuck in the wilderness. Because that's what's going on with some of you. stuck in your ways and you stuck in the wilderness. Come from among them. Come from among Egypt. Come from among them. Some of you are stuck in that wilderness with your families. They don't want God. They don't want to obey God. You don't made them your God because you don't want to turn them loose. You got these spouses. You don't made them gods. You don't want to turn them loose. So you just stuck in your wilderness, whatever your wilderness may be. And that's going to stop you from going into the promised land. Some of you are going to die in your wilderness. I done seen it over and over again. It's people that's done died in these bad relationships. And that same raggedy mate done went out and married somebody else to make their life a living hell. Babies, you don't want to die in your wilderness. You do not want to die in your wilderness. You want to obey God. You want to trust God. You know what the word said? Whose report will you believe? You going to believe the report that the enemy is feeding to your mind? Or are you going to be, believe the report of the Lord? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. He will provide. He's going to take you into your promise land. He's going to let you see every promise he made to you manifested. But you must obey. You must be steadfast, unmovable, unshakable, standing and trusting God that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. And he's done done things for you in the past. It's a miracle that you even made it to salvation. That's a miracle. Do you know how many people's dying every day, losing their soul? Not coming to the knowledge of Christ. Not that they ain't heard it, but they hardened their heart when God came by. Baby, you don't want to get this far and die in the wilderness. You don't want to do it. Babies, all I hear today is God wants to bring you out your wilderness. Don't murmur. Don't complain. Don't continue to be disobedient. Do what the Father will have you to do. He wants to take you into the land flowing with milk and honey. But he can't take you murmuring and complaining and being disobedient. He said, if you be obedient, you'll eat the fat of the land. I remember I looked at my life one time. And I said, Lord, what is going on? And the Holy Ghost told me, once could you be obedient, you eat the fed of the land. I said, well, somewhere I'm not being obedient because I sure enough ain't eating the fed of the land, honey. No, I'm not. So, Lord, wherever I'm at, wherever I'm disobedient at, show me. Shine the light on it. Show me so I can line up with the things of God. Babies, you want to line up and be obedient to God. You don't want to murmur and complain. You don't want to walk in doubt and unbelief. You don't want to look back. Look at, look at, um. Look at Lot's wife. He told him not to look back. What'd she do? 
look back. That's what a lot of y'all do. Look back. What happened to her? She turned to a pillar of salt. She didn't even get to go with her husband because she looked back. She was so worried about that raggedy city, that Egypt. God don't let her be free with her husband. But it was in her heart. See, some of y'all got Egypt in your heart. You got these people in your heart. You got to get God in your heart. Don't desire the things of the world or the things in it. Don't desire people that want the world, that don't want to love your God. Don't desire them. That's Egypt. You know, your Egypt may be right now, you may be sick in your body and need a healing. Trust God to bring you out of your Egypt to go into your promised land. Egypt may be your bad relationship you in. Do what God tells you to do so he can deliver you from it. So you can come out of Egypt. Some of you may not even accept the Christ in your life. Accept God as your Lord and Savior. So you can come out of Egypt. Stop murmuring and complaining about your situation and trust God. Obey God. Obey God. You don't want to be like the old people in the wilderness and die off and don't go into the promised land. After seeing God do all these other miracles in your life. They seen God perform some miracles through Moses. And they still didn't trust God. They still murmured and complained. Wasn't satisfied. Y'all know people like that. Never satisfied. No matter what you do for them. And what is that? A lot of times, just like in a relationship, you got somebody, you doing everything for them. Nothing that you do satisfies them. Why? Because they don't love you. And that's how it is with God. Do you really love God? Because if you really love God, you're not going to be murmuring and complaining. You're going to be satisfied. You're going to be satisfied. You're going to be at peace with whatever he does. And whatever state you find yourself in, you will be content because you love God. You know it ain't because he can't do it. Some things are just about timing. Some things are just about you. Murmuring, complaining, and not being obedient to your God. Babies, I love you and so does God. Just know that he wants to bring you out of your wilderness experience, but you just have to obey him. You don't want to be, be like the children of Israel, the older crowd. You don't want to be stuck in your ways and get stuck in the wilderness and die there and never go into your land flowing with the milk and honey. Some of you have been waiting for years and years and years and years and some of you are going to continue to wait until you obey God, until you do what God tells you to do. Do it his way and not your way. Babies, don't be stuck in your ways and get stuck in your wilderness. Come from among them. Come on out of that wilderness. Your mindset could be a wilderness. Stuck in that same mindset. You got to change the way you think and it'll change your life. Get your mind renewed with the mind of Christ and it'll change your life. Babies, I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Come on out that wilderness, baby. Come on out. Come on out.